Hey guys, sorry I got busy, but here's the second part for how to make a trade bot video. So the first thing I do is download these uh, files down in the description. You're also going to need like Notepad++, um, Steam Desktop Authenticator, all that stuff, like the usual stuff for a bot. And once you have these files, you're going to open them up. I'm going to put it over here. And you're going to extract this file uh, in this folder. And you'll get this. And you're going to go to your settings. And right click to hit edit with Notepad++. That will open up this little settings file here. And you're going to put your bot's username right here. Your bot's password. Your shared and identity secret you will get from your Steam Desktop Authenticator. I'll put up a video right now on the screen so you guys can see how to do that. Uh, that video basically goes in pretty big detail how to use Team Desktop Authenticator and get all your secrets. Um, this is going to be your uh, Steam API key. To get that, you will go to this website here, and this will also be down in the description. And you will say, uh, this will be your droplets URL. So like whatever your droplets IP is, you'll put in here, but I don't have a droplet at the moment, so I'll just put in this. And you'll say agree, and you'll hit register. And you'll literally just copy this key right here and put it directly right there. I just made this video but I lost the recording so obviously I gotta redo all this stuff. So this is gonna be your group link so after they make a trade with you your bot will invite them to your group. So you can put your group uh, invite key right here. So right here this is what's what the, the bot's gonna be playing once running the bot. So for mine I have card bot and then 23 to 1 and that's the ratio of how many sets you're going to get for cards. Um, you can obviously change that to however many sets you want, 21, 23, whatever. Um, so it'll comment this on their profile after they trade. So if you want it to say, like, thank you for trading with blah, 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 whatever service, make sure you have that on there. If you... Honestly, so this this defaults to 180, 168, but I added two zeros here because you don't want them... To get deleted too soon, you want them to keep like keep keep you in mind when they want to trade with you again. Uh, by the default, it'll remove them in one week if they don't ask for more cards. I set mine super high. I mean, it'll fill the friends list super fast. So you might have to clean it out more, but it'll keep you in mind more often. Um, so basically, you'll put your admin ID uh, in this one, and the way you get that is Steam dot Steam ID dot io. This link will also be down in the comment and down in the description as well and you will just input your Steam ID here. So this is going to be what game keys at once. So 730 will be for CSGO and 440 will be TF2. So this will be the amount of messages a person can send to the bot before they get banned from the bot, basically unfriended. Um, I would just leave that at the default. So this is going to be how many sets they will get if they send you a key. So if, if we have it set to 21 up here, we'll just set it to 21 right here. So if they give you 10 sets, this bot will send you back a key, and you can change this to whatever you want. Uh, I believe the default was like 6, but I set it to 10. So if they send you 10 cards, the bot will send them a key back. The max sell set, or set sell, is set to 50 by default. I have not changed that. The people that can sell, um, so I demonstrated in the last video, but I lost the recording. Um, I would just put yours here. Any other people that you trust to sell to the spot, you can just say like comma, and you do space, parentheses, parentheses, and then you can input their, their URL there. That's obviously an API key, but you just keep inputting their stuff there. Um, and here are all the messages that will be sent to the bot. So when they get added, they'll send them this message. If they type help, they'll get this message. Um, they do sell help, it'll give them this message. And then, yeah. So here's like all the defaults for like the max level they can get from your bot and the max buy and the max sell. Um, these are the accepted keys that the bot will accept. You can add more later once more cases are added. But the down link down in the description will be the most up to date one. It will honestly get updated the second a new case comes out to fix this issue because these might get outdated if you don't add the keys. Um, so yeah, thank you guys for watching. If you have any comments or anything, any questions really, just leave a comment down below and I can help you guys out. You can also add me on Steam as well. So yeah, please like, comment, and subscribe.